What's up, y'all? It's Kyra, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a very impromptu, informal video. I didn't even plan on doing this, but I um, just got a delivery from Amazon. Okay, so while we're stuck in the house, I have been trying to just like brainstorm some home decor ideas, just things that I plan on doing after this craziness is all over with. I normally prefer to shop in person. I hardly ever really buy a home decor, like actual decor pieces online, just because I wanna see it before I buy it. Just make sure that it kinda goes with the vibe that I am going for. So in the meantime, I've been kinda brainstorming some upcoming home projects, which I will share with you guys later in the video. But for right now, I'll just share the couple items. It's only like one, two, three, four things that I got um, from Amazon. And then one thing that I do wanna do right now, or that I have been trying to think of while I'm in the house is how to decorate these doggone coffee tables. Y'all, y'all know I love decorating, right? But for me, hands down, the hardest things to decorate are bookshelves and coffee tables. Especially the ones that we have in our house because the ones that we have in our house, well, first of all, we have two of them. So that makes it twice as hard. And then the ones that we have are, they're large and they're square. So I've been struggling with figuring out what I want to put on these coffee tables. I think I have like an idea for how to decorate one table and then I have to figure out how to do the other table. So just hopping right into it, kind of doing the home decor haul portion of this video. So this is um, not really home decor. So I bought this wick trimmer i think it's called a wick trimmer i don't know the professional name for it but um i have been needing one of these for forever now and i've known for years you guys that you're supposed to trim your wicks before you light them because it helps your candles to burn more evenly and help them last longer i've just never purchased one i don't see these in store hardly ever so i went ahead and bought this one on amazon for like seven dollars i also bought this beaded garland so i have been finding a lot of pictures on pinterest um with people having used beaded garland to accent or to decorate their like tables or like little accent areas here and like bookshelves things like that and so i found this one here on amazon it's a really pretty light tan or like cream all the balls are wood and then it has tasseled ends and i think it was like 12 bucks on amazon i'll definitely link it down below but i try to incorporate this somewhere um and then these are random this is not really anything special but i finally bought some um candle pillars to go over my larger bath and body works candles it is really really hard to find candle holders for this size candle because these candles are so large and i also read that these help to prevent like you know, like that residue and like that set from the candles burning, you know, it keeps it from forming like on the walls and like on the things that are around the candle. So this should help with that. So that way, wherever I place the candles, um, it won't like none of that buildup will get on any of the, the stuff around it. And it'll just go straight up and it'll be protected. I also bought down here, now these are not new. I've had these for a while. I've had these since um, our old apartment. But one thing that I love to use when decorating is just nice coffee table books. I love, love, love nice books. So this is the Vogue and the Metropolitan Museum of Art Costume Institute Parties, Exhibitions, and People edition. So I got this book. I also, this is also old. It's just a regular Chanel book. Obviously you guys know I love neutrals. So hopefully these can go somewhere on these coffee tables. And then lastly, this is also not old, but I bought this vase here. It's like a light gray, like a really, really light gray, almost tannish vase that I got from CB2. Yeah, I got it from CB2. It's the Drake vase. And I got this months ago whenever we first moved into our house. And I bought it, but I never found anywhere for it to go. So it's been sitting by the front door literally for months. <laughs> it's just been sitting there. And so when I was thinking of ideas to decorate the coffee table, I was like, oh, let's see if that vase could, you know, go somewhere. And I was like, just playing around with some things and put the bundle from the vase on the island in here just to see how I like it. And I actually am loving the tones and the vibe of this combo here. So we will see if this fits somewhere on here. And then I also placed an order at, um, not West Elm, Crate and Barrel? No, Pottery Barn. I placed an order at Pottery Barn because I had found this 
beautiful base which you guys obviously i have a thing for bases i don't know i just love using items that add some height like i just love mixing and matching different heights and different textures and just different materials and finishes um and so i found this beautiful vase um at pottery barn but i bought it with the intent to swap out that light gray cement vase that we have on our island with it it's like a really pretty like black and it's not really marble it's y'all will see it when it comes in i'll definitely vlog it if it doesn't work there i have a backup plan on where to use it but for right now let's do this table So here's what I came up with for the first table. So I just stacked and kind of slanted the books, then added the little wick trimmer. Not sure that I'll say there, but just put that there for now. Yeah, right handle, got the little pillar on top. Um, also added this beaded garland right there. So if I cut off the light, here is how that one looks. And I think I like it. Y'all, I have no idea what to do with this one. Oh, and I put the vase on this table here instead of this one. I didn't want to put anything here to disrupt the view of the fireplace, especially whenever we have it going, you know, in the fall and the winter. I don't know, Dion suggested like, um, like a bowl, like a moss bowl, but he suggested like a really large one. One that kind of like takes up, not takes up like most of the space, but but definitely one that's larger in size. I'm gonna try it out for sure and I'll probably just DIY it and see how it comes out. Okay, so that's one thing down. And then while we're on the topic of home decor, I wanted to share a couple projects that I have in mind. like. The first project that I plan on tackling as soon as I can go shopping again is this front entryway area. Okay, so here's our front door and then here's our current entryway situation. Honestly guys, me and Dion bought this table probably like a month after being here and I told him like last week <laughs> I do not like it anymore. I feel like it was a bit of a rush buy just to kind of put something here, but now that it's been here for a couple months, I do not like it and so I told him just so he's aware <laughs> ahead of time that I plan on buying a new entry way table. So I have one picked out that I already plan on getting. It is from Restoration Hardware. It is a bit more pricey so that's kind of why I told him ahead of time because it's definitely a splurge but it's a lot more. I like this is just too I don't know how to describe it. It's a little too modern or like too, I don't know. It's just too much bronze going on. And this is just not the vibe that I wanna go for right here. So I'll actually go ahead and insert a picture of the idea that I plan on doing for this space. And then while we're here, here is the empty space that we still have at the front of our house. Whenever you first come into our house, you have um, a formal living and a formal dining space. And we have a couple ideas in mind, but the idea that we're thinking is that like we'll have like maybe a couch and like two chairs and I don't know, just some sort of like sitting area and then um, a nice table, nothing too long or too huge because the space isn't that wide, but the table will go this way maybe a piece of art on the wall, some curtains or some window treatment, something like that. And then not quite sure what will go on this wall. I don't know what's gonna go there. We haven't really thought that far ahead, but honestly, I feel like this space in our bedroom is like our last priorities. It's like the one thing that we care about the least. Well, no, we care about it, but it's like the one thing that we're like, oh, it can wait. So to me, I would say this space is about like, 80% done. Um, the only thing that we want to do in here to finish it out is we want a bigger plant and we want to add something on the side of the fireplace. So we were in here the other day and we were like, 
you know, like this area looks amazing, but something is missing. And what we think that we need to do is we think that we need to add something Nothing too big, nothing too gaudy, nothing too extravagant, but just something on the sides of the fireplace. So like, but we don't know what the something is, like some sort of like object or like a really like simple minimalistic painting, but like not a painting though, because we don't want it to conflict with the wall i don't know just something and then we also want to get a much bigger plant i had got this plant months ago from target and it is nice i do like it but it just doesn't fit the scale of the room it's a little bit too small so we also want to upgrade this plant and get a much bigger one like preferably one that reaches almost the top of the railing right there we're thinking like an eight foot one just something um, preferably like another Birds of Paradise style plant, but something that's a lot taller and a lot fuller. Those things, as well as this situation, I feel like will pretty much be done in here. Another area that we, you guys, have not even tackled. Like, look, <laughs> it has looked like this pretty much since the day that we moved in. But I actually had the idea last week. Um, we were talking, of, you know, about how Dion needs a space to like be able to work. And I was like, babe, why don't we, like for the guest room, since, I mean, eventually this will become a nursery whenever we have a kid, we don't really have to do a whole lot for the guest room. And I was like, babe, what if we took this room and had a little office set up for you, but then also had enough space to incorporate a pull-out couch. Honestly, don't really have many guests. Let's be real. We were in Austin for almost three years and we had maybe like, two or three guests the entire three years. So I'm thinking that we can find a way to convert this into a guest room slash mini office for him. It would be cool. And then the last project to do up here, we're going to be doing a gallery wall in our game room. So you guys have seen this game room before. We just pretty much used all of our old furniture from our apartment and just popped it in here. Oh, I did actually add these two. I'm not quite sure if I showed you guys this in um, my last home update video, but I found this plant here. Actually, I found both of these from Home Goods. So the plant from Home Goods, as well as this little gold sphere from Home Goods, and I feel like that really completes this space. So that's all done, and then you guys know popcorn machine there, couch, all this stuff. This is all old, um, but here is the wall here that we'll be adding a gallery wall. And here are the actual pictures that will be hanging up. They're just here in this Ikea bag <laughs> in the corner because we have nowhere else to put them. But we'll be using these Ribba, these Ribba frames from Ikea. I think I have nine of them. And then essentially we'll just have these up here. And I'm thinking that we'll do three rows of three. You guys saw how much me and Dion struggled whenever we were just trying to hang up four pictures <laughs> in my office. So we were like, you know what? We'll just leave this gallery wall to professional and just have someone come in and hang it for us because we refuse to spend hours putting this up. And then the last, last, last thing is our outdoor space. So I actually didn't show this outdoor space on our empty house tour. So giving guys a view of this now, it's actually really humid out here. Um, but I have a really cool idea for this space because me and Dion want the space to be a really good like hangout space whenever it comes to, or whenever it's like fall time, because let's be real, summer is like way too hot. So <laughs> more like fall and winter and spring, of course. So the idea is that I want to do a couch or like either a sectional or a couch and two chairs, like a couch going this way, chair, chair and then a coffee table in the center right and then we want to mount a tv up here so we have a place to kind of sit chill eat and like watch a movie or like a game or something and then over here i want to do a really nice like longer dining table here outdoor table right here with like chairs so you can have a place to eat and then a place to chill i want to make it really really nice out here because if there is one thing that this virus and this quarantine situation has shown me it is that i need to get on designing this back patio because i need a place to chill out outside i think that is about it for all the upcoming projects that we have coming up i'm like super excited to get everything um up and going um so in the near future once we kind of finish you know quarantine and everything's back to normal 
Um, the main two things that I'm thinking that I'm gonna start off with first is going to be the entry table and then the outdoor dining situation so hope you guys stay tuned for all those upcoming home projects and hope you guys enjoyed this home updates video um if you guys enjoyed it give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye y'all